Hi everyone, hope you guys are having a great day. And this will be a really low key video moving forward. Now the last two videos that I created took a lot of time, but I don't think I'm gonna go that direction anymore because it requires a lot of graphics. It requires paying a lot of people. And right now I just want to give you guys the most valuable information without the special effects. So I'll put those type of graphics on pause until I really see a reason why to take up so much time to make things fancy. Anyway, again, greetings and let us start. So I am just going to go straight to the point here. In the past, I've been really conservative about the price of Bitcoin until now because of what I am hearing is going on at the United States border and the governor of Texas and the event that occurred this past week where the Supreme Court of the United States told Texas to cut down your razor wires at the border and Texas did not. But what was weird is that around the same period of time, Bitcoin, strangely enough, bounced back up from $38,000. And I thought this was funny because the news was going on everywhere on Twitter with the governor of Texas not backing down and the crypto people were not able to connect the dots. So I think we will see Bitcoin moving strongly because of the fear of civil war. Yes, civil war between now it's not between blue states and red states, because I can tell you right now, blue states have no guns. So they'll be wiped out pretty easily. It will be between the red states and the federal government, purely, purely, purely out of my speculation. Now, how likely is that? I don't think it is likely, and I do not want that to happen. But so far, the Biden administration has been acting nonsensically, and I think these waves of immigrants are for the Democrats and Biden to win the coming election. Now, I don't know if it's actually allowed for immigrants to vote. I don't think so. I think that that is illegal, but I am not understanding of the law. I always thought if you wanted to vote in the U.S. election, you have to be a citizen. So that is what I'm going at. Now, is Biden going to make everyone a citizen sometime too this year? He does have the power to do that. Now, again, I'm not sure how much of the processing, because that would be it will be hard to process so many people. And so it leaves the Biden administration not knowing exactly what they are going to do because the whole thing seems nonsense. Altogether, Biden has allowed 10 million immigrants to come into the United States since he was elected. And a lot of these folks have no homes, nowhere to go, so they are stranded. And that number of 10 million is greater than the amount of people in several states already. So that is like two or three states that comprise of that amount of people. Those 10 million can literally support on your own self. And I'm not making this up. Now, my thoughts if, is if civil war breaks out, the US dollar is almost dead as people will want to flee to another currency. Obviously, I do not want that to happen because first I live in Chicago, but if that happens, all hell breaks loose. So now my estimates on Bitcoin have gone from really bearish or, you know, trending to bullish. And ironically, at the same time, Grayscale sell off, which was caused by FTX selling off about $1 billion of the Bitcoin position is almost over. And you also heard of news on BlackRock buying more Bitcoin mining stocks. And this was all within the same time period between Texas and the federal government, which is kind of interesting to me. So it also makes you think about what news does BlackRock know since BlackRock controls the politicians. And with that said, since we are on the subject of BlackRock, they have also put out a proposal for an Ethereum ETF. And several analysts are saying that there is a 75% chance of it being approved. My personal opinion about the BlackRock Ethereum ETF is that it will be 100% seeing how BlackRock controls everything, including the politician strings. And that's why I think the Bitcoin ETF passed because of BlackRock. So we have massive trades on the horizon, and this is not the time to mess it up. As Rob Paul says, this is a time, guys, where you should be locked and loaded. Know what you are exactly doing. Now, I don't want to see any crazy nonsense in the United States. And if I do, I will be the first one to flee out, you know, because I don't have time for that stuff. So after the event with Texas that occurred this past few days, I got back into cryptocurrency trades, as I've talked about in my channel since the beginning, 
you had Millennium Token, you had Solana, you had Solanium, you had Radium, and so forth. And we also have the Bitcoin halving coming out in late March, early April, taking place where the supply of Bitcoin will be cut in half. Other bullish Bitcoin events are with these Bitcoin ETFs. We have more than 11 right now. And my favorite ones is Kathy Woods because I like Kathy. She's been talking very positively about Bitcoin. And if you don't know who Kathy Woods is, she's the owner of ARK Invest, which is a very gigantic ETF fund. They are also bullish on Tesla. Now, in regards to the Bitcoin ETFs, they will be taking more Bitcoins out of the market. And currently, there is more than $1 billion worth of Bitcoin that these ETFs have taken out since inception. I have heard numbers between $1 billion to $3 billion, and that number will only grow. Again, this is really bullish news. Now, now with so much bullish news, what can derail the price of Bitcoin going up in direction? So far, we have the Mt. Gox sell-off, which I think is a false flag because someone always puts out this news to scare the masses. And if the Mt. Gox tokens were to be released, I think the market will be able to absorb it pretty, pretty easily. You also have another false flag, which could happen, which is the United States trying to sell $140 million worth of Bitcoin from Silk Road trade. Now, whether this would or could happen, I don't think we should care as the market would absorb $140 million worth of Bitcoin selling pressure. And so both Mt. Gox and Silk Road are pretty much fear porn at this point. And even I think it would be stupid for the United States government to sell their Bitcoin. But then again, we have stupid people running the country. So, oh well. And this brings me to what could kill Bitcoin, which is nothing at the moment, in my personal opinion, but the stock market. If the stock market were to dip and fall, yes, it would bring down the crypto market because Bitcoin and cryptos are still a risk on trade. And again, it's election season. So if Biden wants to win, he cannot have a low stock market because that would give people thinking that the economy is not doing great and the Democrats do not want that perception. Also coming up is the Fed meeting pretty soon. Currently, the economy is seeing a bit more inflation. And if rates are risen by Jerome Powell, this would hurt the economy. And if they were cut in terms of rate cuts, this would increase inflation. So right now, even the Federal Reserve is in a bad place unless that is a weird black swan event. And if that were to happen between Texas and the federal government, it's more likely in Bitcoin's favor. But the stock market is going to look really crappy and suck. Because as I mentioned, Bitcoin would then replace the dollar as a safe trade as it is a currency while the stock market is pricing Bitcoin. So that is the $100,000 trade right there for you guys. I've broken things down to as much as I can. Just an opinion and should not be taken as financial advice, but let me know what you guys think. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. I think we're going up. Yes, can we sideways trend and trade? Yes, it can move sideways, but I'm no longer bearish. And in fact, I told my employer to start paying me in Bitcoin based on this Texas and federal government move. And I'm not telling you guys to do that. Do things out of your own concern, out of your own liberty. But tomorrow... I'll catch up and talk about other crypto tokens, as we have mentioned on our channel, including updates on Million Token, updates on Solanium, updates on Radium, updates on ICP, and so forth. So have a great day as well, and it's good to be back, and it's all so good to see that we have reached 100 total subs and kicking it on YouTube and Rumble. Have a great day.